Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful morning. So I stopped in this morning because I wanted to share with you all a couple of things I was doing. First, I want to share that Jody and Jada gave us a taste test of Tatsoy. And that is Tatsoy right there. So this is my Tatsoy. They're growing a little close closely than what they should be but yeah that's tad soil you all it's really beautiful and uh so anyway jody and jada gave us a taste test of tad soil also uh i'm sharing with you all a, a little haul that i did and i picked up something that is really really special right <laughs> to uh my handsome son over there at the grow family network they uh, picked this tree up also. Yeah. <laughs> and also I'm going to share just a walk around my garden. And oh, yeah, I'm going to give you all a tip. A gardening tip. All right. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my zone nine garden yay 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 <laughs> i'll let moringa do my talking this morning huh <laughs> Take your mask from off oh. your neck, huh? I, don't, I, don't, I just hate to lose it. Let me put it in my best pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's my best pocket. Jada and Jody is going to taste Tetsoy. Yeah. So it's a spinach. Mm -hmm. And it's delicious. One for you and one for Jada. Okay. This is a nice one. Okay. And... Is it bug free? <laughs> yeah, inspect it. Inspect again, it's supposed to. Yeah. Say a little prayer for us, Jada. <laughs> Come on, Lord. Uh, let this be good for our bodies, oh. good for our souls, and good for our taste buds. And, Come on. And, 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 and brains and health. And, Come on. And, 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 in the name. In the name of Jesus, amen. In, amen. The, in the Come name. Come on now. Come on now. What you say? <laughs> in the name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers. All right, y'all. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right. Go for it. <laughs> Come on, chew, Jordan. That is Jada. Don't look at your mom. Have your own opinion. I rolled it up too much. Mine was okay. It is good. It's got a sweetness to it. It is a little sweet. Mm hmm. It tastes earthy. Okay. It tastes like it's good in salad. It yes. Does. Yeah. So, what's, what's your take on the tad soy? Raw. Um, that what she said? No, no, I want your words. <laughs> um like spinachy, like it's, yeah. it's leafy, it's a leafy green. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, come on with the words. <laughs> I like it. It's good. It's, it's good. Sweet. It does have a sweetness mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. It has you don't eat the stem. Well, it's not gonna hurt you. That's okay. for sure. No, stems will not hurt mm, you. It has a different taste. Got that crunch. crunch. I know, I know. <laughs> it's not as um, darker than the yeah, leaf, that, but it's good. That, that flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it called? Tat soy. My favorite part is the stem. Me too. <laughs> the favorite part is the stem? Yeah. It was good. So you all would say it's nothing like the Malabar? No. <laughs> <laughs> It was pretty good though. Right? It was. Mm. Yeah, I rate I rated a nine both of them. I mm -hmm. think they're really good. Yeah. The most important thing about it is the health benefits. Mm -hmm. Google that thing, Jody. I will. All right, guys. Y'all say bye to everybody. Bye. Later, y'all. <laughs> all right, guys. I want to bring you all a little haul I did today. 
So I went down to the store, um, this nursery I go to in the railroad, and I purchased this. This is bone and blood meal. It says $9.99, but it wasn't. It was on sale for $5. And I bought this. Um, yeah, it's bone and blood meal. Also, I purchased some leeks. I thought I bought two. Yep, two leeks. And a bunching white lesbian bunching onion. That's what I bought that. Also, the owner, he's so sweet. He gave me this for free, y'all. So I'm gonna save this for spring when I get ready to plant out more onions. I'm getting more onions than anything, huh? Yep. But anyway, um, he gave me this for free. He's such a sweetheart. Yep. Also, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought this. <laughs> so let me tell y'all what this is. First of all, I want you to see. Look how healthy this plant is. It looks fake. It's so beautiful. She is gorgeous. So I'm going to tell you a little story before I tell you who she is, okay? <laughs> I was watching... Uh, my beautiful family, the Grow Family Network. Now, Chris from Back to Our Roots Homestead and I, we had been talking about this plant for a while, and we both said we want one of these plants uh, because we, you know, we want to grow it. We want to grow this thing, right? So anyway, I was listening to Grow Family Network. He did a, a haul on some tropical trees that he purchased from Logies, and um, anyway. He bought this plant, yes, and this is a coffee plant. Um, it's an Arabian coffee, and it is believed to be the first species of coffee to be cultivated. And that's what this tree is. She is beautiful. <clears throat> she is absolutely lovely, absolutely. Now. This she's really she's she's a really big girl. She's not you know she 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 ain't no strony girl now. But her price tag is on her. Here it is. And that's what I paid for her. Yep. That's what I paid for her. And <laughs> I love it, y'all. I love it, love it, love it. So I had her sitting here in some water. Um with these other two plants I purchased. So I plant I purchased this plant. This is a apple mint. Apple mint. And this is a pineapple sage. Yep. So all three of them, of course, is going out in the quarantine area for a couple of days. But I wanted to definitely share it with you all so you all can see how they look i'm so excited about her right but anyway guys i just wanted to share my coffee plant and i'm gonna put her true name right there all right so maybe you want to look it up and read about her okay all right guys so there they are under the plantain trees here are the other baby over here she's covered them all up she's so big <laughs> but um they're gonna be out here for a couple of maybe seven to ten days just so I can make sure you know they don't bring nothing in the garden but I'm excited about this coffee plant yes beautiful absolutely all right guys so family if you was with me in the last video then you seen where I planted out Tatsoi. These are my Tatsoi that I planted out. Now, when you move plants, you want to move them when they are much smaller than what I moved these Tatsoi, simply because it just takes them a long time to get over the shock. Even though I moved them in the late evening and it was cloudy, it's still a lot of them still uh, could not get over the shock. 
<clears throat> now the plant will try her best to save these limbs but as you can see right there those limbs cannot be saved now if you look at the ones in the middle they are nice and tall and strong it is the bigger leaves that is that she can't handle so cut them off cut them all off you will find you will have a healthier plant if you just cut those big leaves off and i know you know we want those big leaves but we will get those big leaves but you know your plant is trying to save something that she cannot save right so if you look at the middle as i was saying the middle plant uh, leaves are straight and they're healthy and they're strong so get rid of the bad and you will see she will grow beautifully right so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go around and cut off all of these dead leaves that she is putting all this energy into saving but we know she can't so now this is how they all look yeah they're smaller yeah but they will get bigger they will get bigger and they will be healthy okay so if you have sagging leaves on your plant or leaves that died on your plant take those leaves off on last tuesday lead former was my guest on my live we talked about the fig trees so here's one of my fig trees that's under my plantain tree this is a brown turkey fig. And family, as you can see, there's figs all over this, this tree. Now, all of her leaves have dropped, but new leaves are coming on. And uh, But she is full of figs. I did get a little harvest of ripe figs. I haven't tasted them yet, but they are ripe and they're soft and they look delicious. So also in my garden, you will find a lot of flowers. Yes, I still have a lot of beneficial insects hanging around. And of course, this baby. This is my hibiscus. And yeah, it just continuously bloom. And there are so many uh, that's coming on. And I'm excited because I love it. So if you've been here a while, also you know that I can look right out of my bedroom window and see this baby. And it is a beautiful thing to look at early in the morning, even when I don't come right out to the garden, right? But as you can see, there's so many of them, they're coming on. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the show. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but this is, a, I think she is a Hawaiian Bay um, hibiscus. And this, I purchased her in, I think it was um, last spring, if I'm not mistaken. But in any event, she's gorgeous and uh, I love her. I think I purchased her after Zeta. That's what it was. Yeah. Zeta took out my biggest ones that I had. Yeah, Hawaiian Red, um, Red Bay Hibiscus. That's what she is. So this is my LSU Gold. And yeah, she is doing really good. And here is one that's really getting ripe on me. So I was listening to Led say he took a fig off before ripening and it ripened in the house so yeah i'm gonna take her because yeah i think the squirrel is probably eyeballing that that one too so i'm gonna take him in but this is my um that's still the gold right i also harvest uh some figs from the purple yeah that's the purple. And um, mm -hmm. they are all doing good. And they all have figs. 
Yeah, they all have figs on them. Leaves are dying. New leaves are coming. Yep, yeah, but they are beautiful. Every one of them. Now we're going to look at Miss Fiona. Miss Fiona is just full of figs. I mean, the girl is full of figs. Um, she is doing that same pattern also where um, old leaves are dying and new leaves are coming on. Right. So also I'm going to share with you the area where I took the air lay from. Where we took Miss Fifi from. Um, well, I guess I didn't. <laughs> but anyway, it's it doesn't even look like I did an air lay there. It's uh, so beautiful, right? Everything just heals very fine. And I didn't put anything on um, Fifi, uh, I mean Fiona, to heal her. She healed on her own right there. That's where I took the air lay from. Yeah. And she healed on her own. Yeah. But, as you can see, the, all three of them are doing well in this area. So, this is my broccoli rob. Yeah, this will be Sunday meal, y'all. <laughs> yes. But this is broccoli rob. And as you can see, she got that broccoli head like. But it won't get really big like a broccoli. Right? And you will also see flowers all over the garden and I'm still dropping more flower seeds yeah yes I am there's cabbages in there also and here's more flowers I do have some brassicas growing in there too yeah <laughs> yeah there they are right there so they're doing well also Mm. and um, yeah there is onion and garlic in this bed under her as you can see it uh, but she's taken over this 17 gallon container um, yeah it's a broccoli it's a broccoli this is my 100 gallon grow bag and it is gorgeous and she has just lots and lots of vegetables from garlic, onions, Swiss chard, to kale, to red mustards, that's what that is there. She has kohlrabi, <clears throat> leeks, so yeah, she have a variety of tatsoi. <laughs> She have, there's some carrots in here also. Yeah. And this is an area for a lot of my grow bags. And the brassica bed. With arugula and, yeah, just thousand head kale right there. Yeah. Now she is in the bed. Yeah. Also, I'm finding so many uh, vegetables that I didn't drop, like this one. And I was sharing with you all the flowers of this ground cherry. She's gorgeous. But I have another ground cherry. I looked over there, and I didn't believe what I saw. So I had to go over there. Yeah, I had to go and see uh, what I saw over there. Yeah, I'm going to bring y'all over there in a second. <laughs> yeah, that's when I was like, ah, did I see what I saw? Yeah, I saw what I saw. <laughs> so here we go. This is what I saw. She's full, y'all. She's full. I'm looking forward, y'all. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. That's 
That's ground cherries, you all. For you all who don't know. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, I know I gave a lot of the seeds away to many of you uh, to drop in the spring. But <laughs> I didn't drop them, y'all. She just came back on her own. <laughs> so, yeah, I found a lot of um, vegetables and seedlings growing that, you know, they just volunteered, right? So when they volunteer like that, I just let them grow. I just let them grow, y'all. And they're beautiful, absolutely. And here are some of the seedlings. Uh, I'm, yeah, and I just, you know, I'm just dropping seeds. But I'm going to have to move something because they're not getting sun. And here's more. And they are all germinating and looking good. Looking real good. Also, <laughs> yeah, he's not friendly. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> So by the end, by the beginning of November, this bed is going to be full of delicious vegetables. And I'm going to be able to harvest a lot of food for me and my babies. Huh? Yes, that's what I'm looking forward to. It's just um, harvesting, uh, uh, cleaning, chopping, and cooking eating a meal with my family and that's that's one of the rewards of growing your own food that's one of them so they all do a lot Alicia, she's doing good this morning. Yeah. And there's three of them now. There's three Alicia's. And uh, the purple pepper. Yep, I ate her. <laughs> this collard green is just huge over here. I will be harvesting some of her leaves very soon. Very soon. Yep. I will not let them go to waste. Mm -mm. Malabar spinach in that bag. Wow. <laughs> Basil. Yeah, there's a lot of just vegetables popping up. I also put, of course, some garlic. And there is some green onions in here also. Yet yeah, that is a colas plant, a chocolate colas plant. And my biggest colas plant, she's going to seed. So her seeds are flying. And this is what happens. So I'm going to let her stay. I'm going to let her stay right there. This is one of those barrels with. This is the cabbage. The other barrel had more thousand head kills in it. Yeah. That's the barrel I took the two thousand head kills out and let it stay for the cabbage. Yeah. We're about to get a flower from our elephant ear. <laughs> the elephant ear is about to have a flower. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a good night. Bye, y'all.